grew up here, so it, it, it's, you know, seen a lot of changes over the years. You know, I am a bit sad to leave Missoula. Miranda Maxson lives at the trailer court on the Missoula KOA. At least from what I understand, this is one of the only ones in the United States that does have a trailer court attached. The property is unique, home to both the trailer park and RV park. But things are changing. Yes, we decided to sell. Maxson says now is her time to move. I've been thinking about potentially leaving Missoula for the last few years just due to like the rising housing costs and the lack of um, places to actually live. Lori Wisby sold the KOA to Missoula Valley Partners LLC for an undisclosed amount taking effect on January 1st. We're at that age for retirement. Yeah. Wisby's parents opened the park year. decades ago before she took over operations. Yeah, my folks started the trailer court in 1956. And then at some point they saw a need for overnight camping and that's about when they bought the KOA franchise. So we're the, we're the oldest family run KOA, or oh, we wow. were. <laughs> MTN News has reached out to Missoula Valley Partners for comment and as of Sunday afternoon, have not heard back. Missoula Valley Partners operates out of Bend, Oregon, according to Montana State Records. He's leaving it a camp campground KOA and trailer court he's not going to kick everybody out and you know bulldoze it for apartments so hopefully they're appreciative of that the tenants. Missoula property management will manage the trailer park side. We don't have any formal plans yet in place. They did state because they want to build that fence they are removing an entire row of trailers um, so I think that was alarming to some of us. A letter mailed to residents on December 20th outlined some preliminary plans, including rent increases and putting up a fence or wall to separate the trailer park and RV park. The property, the, the last previous owner uh, was able to keep those rents at that rate, um, but now with the new ownership, you know, they've obviously paid a much higher price for the park. Rents will go up in March. Currently, everyone's paying $340 a month, but the MPM letter says rent will increase to $450 to $500 for trailers and $600 to $650 for RVs. Maxson says she hopes the changes will be positive, but there's some concern among residents. We really didn't get much notice of this sale. Um, I feel like many of us just feel like we don't know what's going on. Um, we've got the one letter so far, but other than that, we don't really know what's going to happen. So there's a lot of just kind of uncertainty. I think there's a little bit of fear um, because, you know, we just don't know what's going to happen here. For her, a single mother hoping to build a better future for her six-year-old, changes at the trailer park signify something bigger. I just feel like it's, you know, not affordable to live in Missoula at this time. I don't really see it getting any better anytime soon. She's decided to sell her trailer and move with her daughter to Sydney, Montana. There's not much going on up there, but I think it'll be nice for her to have just kind of a new new environment, um, smaller town. Uh, things are still affordable up there, so I think she's really excited. A line of for sale signs means she's likely not the only one contemplating a move.